Hello, this is Blasty from the Sluggers. Today I will show uh, everyone how to do a code start in a JF17 with a J, uh, GC alignment. So what we're going to do first is turn on the electrical system by powering up the battery, the AC generator, and the DC generator. Next, we're going to initiate the combat button that basically starts up all of our uh, combat relevant uh, systems. We'll wait for the master arm to go off and shut that off. Turn on our intercoms as well as our uh, comm system volumes. Turn on the air conditioning and close the canopy. Once the canopy is closed, we're going to lock it into place. Next, we're going to start up the engine. We're going to turn on the engine control, start the pumps, and uncage the throttle. Next, we're just going to hold down the ground start button until the engine comes to life. We can go on to the MFD to EP11 to check if the engine has started up. Here we can see the RPM ramping up on the engines. Next, we can turn on the radio as well as our Charza line and our engine hydraulic pump. Next, we're going to turn on our oxygen supply as well as connect the oxygen supply. We can take this time now to arm the ejection seat as well as remove the safety pin. Next we're going to come to our HUD panel, our front UFC and turn on our HUD display, brightness as well as the UFC. Here we're going to do our uh, INS alignment. We'll do this by opening up the knee board and punching in our longitude and latitude. We will now initiate the fine G, uh, GC alignment by switching the INS alignment to GC. Since this is a longer alignment, there's no need to punch in the true heading. The machine will do it automatically. It is important to note that uh, do not rearm the aircraft during this alignment time or else you will have to start the process over. What we can do during this time is adjust our COM to turn on our data link. As well, we can turn our, on our uh, IFF system. And all that's left is to wait for the INS to finish. We will uh, probably fast forward this part because we don't want to be sitting here watching the empty screen for 2 minutes and 50 seconds. Once the timer has finished, go ahead and click the INS knob to nav. This will complete your INS alignment. You may now enter and insert the data cartridge and load in your data. At this point, you can disable the parking brakes as well as initiate the nose wheel steering system. We'll correct this uh, configuration error. And at this point, you are ready to taxi.
Thank you for watching this video.